boys and girls, we're moving on to our next unit and our next lesson in division. Today we're going to be focusing on real world division problems and word problem solving skills. So what I'd like you to do in box one of your homework sheet is I want you to think of a real life example when you might need to use division and I'd like you to write that in your global connections box. Um, we'll be using this information when you come to class to create word problems for your classmates to then solve. So please make sure you do that. Alright, when we solve word problems, it's important to organize our information and to see what the question is really asking of us. So I want you to think of these two important problem solving strategies whenever you see a word problem. The first one is called RISE. So for each letter, there's a step that you should do in your problem solving strategies. So RISE means read the problem first, recognize the important information, solve the problem, and then go ahead and evaluate and make sure that your answer makes sense. The second one is a little four square organizer. So in the first box, I want you to take notes of the important information because many times you might not have the problem right in front of you that you can write all over and highlight and underline. So you need to take those notes somewhere else, possibly in your notebook. So I want you in box one to take notes of important information. Ask yourself, what do I know? What is the problem telling me? In box number two, I'd like you to write the final question. Often we get confused, especially with multi-step problems. What is the question actually asking of me? So make sure that you're writing that in box number two. Box three, I'd like you to solve and make sure you show your work, whether it's just regular math problems worked out or a picture or a chart or a graph, whatever you feel would help you solve the problem the best. And in box four, I'd like you to check and explain. Make sure that your answer makes sense and that you can explain what your thinking was when you solved it. Please copy um, both problem solving strategies in box two of your homework sheet. All right, and we're going to get started now with our first word problem. So I'm going to read the problem first, and then I'm going to go through my problem solving strategies using the four square method of taking my notes, writing my final question, showing my work and solving, and finally explaining and checking my answer. All right, so here's our first example problem. Maddie tried to divide 163 stickers equally among herself and five friends. There were some stickers left over, so Maddie kept them. How many stickers did Maddie get in all? All right, so first step, I'm going to take notes of the important information that the problem is giving me. So Maddie has 163 stickers. If you have the problem in front of you, you can go ahead and underline it, but if not, you would take notes in box number one. So, Maddie has 163 stickers. Alright, what else do I know? I know that she's sharing those stickers among herself and five friends. Very, very important information. If she's included in the group of people that are sharing, you need to add her on to the five friends. So, in total, there are six people that are sharing stickers. All right. We also know that there are going to be some stickers left over, so we're going to have some remainders left over. So there are, there's going to be a certain amount of stickers that are left over. And we also know that Maddie keeps them and then adds them to whatever she got when they shared. Maddie keeps the leftovers. All right. Now our final question is, how many stickers did Maddie get in all? So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that question. All right. All right, so all together in all. I'm going to take all my information that I have now and I'm going to begin thinking through my problem and solving. So the first thing I want to ask myself is, what am I going to do? What type of math am I going to do with the information that I'm given? Well, I see the keyword divide, so that leads me to believe I might be dividing. I take my total number, 163 stickers, and I see that they're being shared equally among six people. So in my mind, I'm going to set up a long division problem. 
Now this may not be something that you think to do right away. You may want to draw a picture, and that's completely fine. Please choose whatever strategy works best for you. The only thing that's important is that you get the right answer in the end, and that you can explain how you got there. So for my box three, I'm going to choose to set up a long division problem. So I'm going to be dividing 163 by 6, because I have 5 friends plus Maddie, which equals 6 people all together. Do you see how they tried to trick you here? This is something you have to make sure that you look at all the information very, very carefully. Alright, so I go to my long division steps. I ask myself, does 6 go into the first number of my dividend? And 6 does not go into 1, so then I pull in the next number. And I ask myself, how many times does 6 go into 16 without going over? And it goes in 2 times. I then move to my multiplication step. 2 times 6 equals 12. Then I subtract. 6 minus 2 equals 4. And 1 minus 1 equals 0. I create my new division problem. And I check to see if 6 goes into 4. And if it doesn't, I then bring down the next number. I now have 43 divided by 6. So I ask myself, how many times does 6 go into 43 without going over? And that answer is 7. 7 times 6 equals 42. And then I subtract. There's nothing else to bring down. And 6 does not go into 1. So the 1 becomes my remainder. All right. I then look to see what this shows me. Have I solved my final question yet? Well, let's take a look. What I've done is I've divided 163 stickers evenly among 6 friends. And my work has shown me that each person will get 27 stickers. And there will be one sticker left over. Now let's look at our final question. How many stickers did Maddie get in all? Does 27 remainder 1 answer that question? And if it doesn't, you need to know that you have to go a step further. A lot of times word problems are two-step, possibly three-step problems. So you need to make sure that you're answering what the actual final question is. All right, so what do I know now? I know that each person gets 27 stickers. So that tells me that Maddie receives 27 stickers after they're shared equally. And I also know that she keeps the leftovers. My remainder tells me there are, there's one sticker left over. So what do I need to do with those two numbers? I add them together. 27 plus 1 equals 28. How many stickers did Maddie get in all? She received 27 from the equal share, plus the one remainder left over, which equals 28. I have now answered my final question. And to explain and check, you can use multiplication to double check your answer. I kind of have done my explanation already to you, but you need to be having these thought processes as you're doing your problems. Make sure you can explain your thinking to a parent, to yourself, or to one of your classmates. All right? And we also need to remember our steps for long division. Please make sure that you are writing those on top of your paper at all times. And you can do it shorthand if you like. Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers with your little symbols? Divide, multiply, subtract, check, and bring down. All right, it's time for you to try one on your own. So here's your practice problem for tonight's homework, and this can be done in box three of your homework sheet. Here it is. David has 87 pennies. He divided them equally among his four sisters. How many pennies did David have after he gave his sisters their share? So make sure to use your four square to organize your thinking in your word problems. Make sure you're reading all the important information carefully and taking your notes. And good luck. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to put them in box number four, and we will discuss them in class tomorrow. Thank you.